bed, don't be shy Jolene can't wait to meet you For a trailer park Christmas The trailer park way With a brand new recipe Every day Sending videos from her trailer She's Jolene Sugar Baker. She is Jolene Sugar Baker. Come and spend the holidays the trailer park trailer way. Park Merry trailer park Merry Christmas. Trailer park Christmas. Merry trailer park Christmas. Hooray! Hey there, trailer park fans. It's Jolene Sugar Baker, the trailer park queen. And welcome to the trailer park test kitchen. And welcome to trailer park Christmas 2019 where I'm showing you how the trailer park celebrates the holiday. Well, by now, you know about the calendar, and you can download that at my website at trailerparkchristmas.com. And I see today that it's a casserole, and it says onion ring casserole. We are not going for those dried onion rings in a can. We're going to top this casserole with some real onion rings. It's got ground beef. It's super hearty. It's great on a cold winter's night, and it's so great to make. It's cheddar cheese soup. It is great. It'll become a favorite of yours. It's up next on Trailer Park Christmas 2019. I'll be right back. Welcome back. Making my onion ring casserole is really simple. We're going to be using some ground beef today, and I've got a pound of that here in the skillet. And you can use some spices like some garlic and salt and pepper to your taste. But we're going to brown this up in the skillet, and I'll check back with you in just a moment. Welcome back. We have drained our ground beef, and what we're going to do is we're going to add a can of cheddar cheese condensed soup right on into there. Or maybe not. Oh, look, it's like the cranberry jelly uh, that we all enjoy around this time of year. That's been quite the controversy I see on all the social media. If people like real cranberry sauce, which is, it's got like the real cranberries in it or the jelly kind. But we're using the cheddar cheese soup here in this mixture. We're going to add a cup of whole milk to this. Uh, right on into this. Um, actually, no. Um, this is actually a half cup. Um, you can add a little bit more if it needs it. And I've got a, actually a cup of mozzarella cheese. And we're going to use one-fourth um, teaspoon of pepper right on in there. I don't measure that. You could probably use some garlic powder. I'm interested in hearing what kind of spices you're all going to add here. Let me just bring up the heat just a little bit here. And probably about a, a half teaspoon to a teaspoon of salt. Now, I looked at the store for some California blend vegetables because that works really well. But apparently, California is really not getting their vegetables out. Um, so today, I found some broccoli in my freezer. You could use any kind of vegetable blend to this. But I'm going to let this um, mix all together uh, for a few minutes up here and simmer. Um, but not too much because it's cheese, it can burn. So I'll check back with you in just a moment. Okay, I transferred our meat and vegetable mixture to a 13 by 9 baking dish. And what we're going to do is I've got some hash brown potatoes that I thawed. I got these in the frozen section. These are the kind that you use in the morning. And I just put them in the microwave a little bit to thaw. And I'm just going to spread these out on top. Look at that. It's like it's snowing up on top of the casserole. This is just kind of like the large bag. And what we're doing is just spreading it out on top here. We're going to later add some cheese to this on top. So that's going to make it really, really nice. Let's just get a nice topping of this, a snowy top. That just makes a nice topping there. Now what I'm going to do is I've got one fourth cup of butter that I'm just going to drizzle that right over those potatoes just like that. Very nice. Look at that. And now I've got some no salt seasoning. You can use some seasoning salt um, or whatever kind of spices that you like. Um, but I'm just going to add that to the top. Um, this is just a no salt seasoning. And I'm just adding that liberally to the top there. And now we have our frozen onion rings. And what we're going to do, you're probably going to use about 20 of them. Oh, one just popped out there. And you're just going to spread them out so they look real pretty on top. And that is Echo. He is flying around the trailer there. 
I'm gonna have to find the foil because I've been using that for kitten um, trying to keep him out of the corners there. Um, so let me find the foil. We're gonna wrap this up so I'll check back with you in just a moment. There we go. I covered it with foil. I've preheated the oven to 350 degrees. We're going to bake this for about 45 to 50 minutes until it's nice and bubbly. Then we're going to take off the foil and we're going to add about a half cup or more of cheddar cheese up on top all over the onion rings and the potatoes and cook it for about five more minutes. So I'll check back with you in just a moment. there you have it, my onion ring casserole. And look at that, a nice big beer battered onion ring right up there on top and the vegetable and the meat mixture and the hash browns. This has a little bit of everything in it, this casserole here. And I just can't wait to see what this all goes together as. So let me see what this tastes like. Mmm, those potatoes very home style and it's got the crunch of the onion rings and the cheesiness of the everything and <clears throat> the wow it's very very um heavy too but um it's good it's a good casserole especially on a cold winter's night maybe when you're snowed in this is very good i hope you get a chance to make my onion ring casserole and if you do send me pictures at jolene sugar baker at gmail.com. Don't forget to follow me all over the place. I'm on that Instagram. I'm on that Pinterest. I'm on that Facebook thing. And of course, hit that um, actually uh, notification bell so you know that there's a video. And get the calendar at trailerparkchristmas.com so you can follow along because I see tomorrow that there's a super surprise. I love spending the holidays with you. There's a video every day until the 25th. I love ya. I'll see you soon. Actually, tomorrow. Merry Trailer Park Christmas. Bye-bye. Snap on all your blue eyeshadow. Watch out for